Welcome back, insufferable gaming fans. Now, last time, we got a tip that we needed to go to Egypt. So, to Egypt we shall go. That's where our buddy's supposedly being held. And he got there via Phantom Train. Now, anytime something pops up from the ground, duck. A quick question. This is something of a Rosser challenge, I suppose. Can anyone tell me when a train in a video game has been good? You know, like, not ghost and not violent and not taking you to another world or anything like that. Just something to think about. Anyway, there's a boss coming up and the way to beat it is to just get next to this and slash wildly. You could try dodging, but... Anyway, the train takes us to Egypt's only geographical feature. You know, never mind all their uh, rich modern heritage and all that crap. The only thing anybody ever remembers is the pyramid. Now, ducking next to these guys will make the bullet pass right through your head doing no damage, because Strider's a thick-headed sumbitch. Oh, I forgot to mention that unlike the Mega Man slide, Strider has to slide by uh, holding down and the direction in which he wants to slide. Should be a hidden energy capsule. Yep, there it was. So, our first objective in this area is to find the Aqua Boots. And to do that... We also have to acquaint ourselves with one of the more irritating features of this game. The wall jump. To wall jump in this game, you have to hit the opposite direction from the wall and the jump button just after the apex of your jump, and you have to have had a full jump without previously hitting the wall and bouncing down. It's actually incredibly difficult and painful, but once you get the hang of it, it almost seems intuitive. It's one of those things that you just gotta sort of kind of get used to. Anyway, here's the aqua boots we need. With that, we can walk on the water. Water being relegated pretty much exclusively just to this level. But first we have to go back around. So we take this tube all the way back to the underground entrance of the pyramid. I wonder if old Strider's ears popped when that happened. Ah, good show. Hit that nail on the head. Now, let's just see if I can find this underground river, Dealy. I believe we just gotta hop across these spike pits. Be careful, there's... yeah, gun guys. And... jump a meringue bots. Ah, crap! I should not have landed on that. Take a drink. Maybe a little less talking and a little more action. Yep, I've still got the aqua boots though, so... That's one thing you don't have to worry about. Make our way rapidly back to where we came from. That was entirely my bad. I get on a terrain and I don't pay attention to where I'm going or what I'm doing. Truth be told, this is about my fourth recording of this particular segment. 
because crap keeps happening to mess it up. Either the file or the recording or anything else, so you'd think I'd be good at this by now. But no. No. It just winds up being problematic. If you build up a little uh, steam, you can actually jump pretty far just with your regular jump in these levels. Oh, you son of a... Well, that was detrimental to my health. Just keep grabbing those pills, people. Again, the nice thing is that you can just pretty much grind for health whenever you want because the enemies keep coming back. Slash, 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 slash. Okay, try this again. This time with less fail. Hold to the right. There we go. Now these things you can bust open fairly easily. Ugh, that was a case where the attack boots would have been awesome. Okay, these guys, they'll pop up, we get close to them, take them out. Always make sure to duck just in case they fire, and there's gonna be a boss. And when it gets here, we just want to slash wildly at it from behind. Or in front. In front works. Slidey, slidey. And this brings us to another wall jumping nightmare. Again, you can't understand how bad wall jumping is in this game until you've tried it. It... This is definitely not an emulation problem either, because I remember this being a pain in the ass in the cartridge. Which I have right over yonder. It just never gets any easier. But we can take it out on M. Bison here. Why do Striders have to disturb us? Well, considering they did kidnap one of us. But he's going to give us an item. What item is that, you ask? Key number two. Now we can open up level two doors. Like this one. With that in mind, we can go back to Kazakhstan. Let's take a shortcut through here. Zoom, zoom, zoom! And with that, Strider Hiryu's ass was ground to a bloody pulp. But, it brings us back to the Blue Dragon. And... With that, we'll just go ahead and stop for a while and... Until then, this is Rosser. Take a drink.